Okay, and I'm welcome to your video tutorial on working out the perimeter of a sector. Today we are going to look at the circumference of a circle and how we can use that to calculate the perimeter of a sector. Hopefully a little bit of this will be revision to you. So what's a sector? Well, a sector is a portion of a circle um, and it's usually enclosed by two radii and an arc. What the hell does that mean? That means there's two radiuses going out either side and a big giant arc around it. Um, two sectors that you might be familiar with or you might have looked at before are semicircles and a quarter of a circle which we call a quadrant. Okay, These are both two different types of sector. A sector just means a part or a portion. Um, they don't necessarily have to be semicircles or quadrants but they're the most common ones. So how we actually work that out is how we work out the perimeter or circumferences of sectors is by using the circumference of a circle formula. So the circumference of a circle is calculated with either of these. The circumference equaling 2 pi r or the circumference equaling pi times the diameter. Now you'll notice in between here I don't have any uh, operations going on. And we'll remember from algebra at the start of the year, if I don't have anything in between them, it means multiplication. So that looks like a little bit of a funny pi, but that's actually saying 2 times pi times the radius, okay? And this one's saying pi times the diameter. Now, if you think back and you'll remember, what you will remember is the radius is half of the diameter. So it's exactly the same formula. I'm just saying two times the radius, whereas in this one I'm saying the diameter. Now, why have two different formulas for exactly the same thing? Good question. It depends. If I have a radius formula already given, I can use this one. If I have a diameter, sorry, if I have a radius already in my diagram, I can use that formula. Or if I have a diameter already given, I can use that one. Okay, it doesn't matter. I'm saying the same thing. It just depends on which way you want to write it. So let's have a look at a first example. It says, uh, find the circumference of this circle correct to two decimal places. Okay, so let's have a look at this one here. I've been given the radius. So I'm going to go with the formula that my circumference equals 2 pi r, or 2 times pi times the radius. That's another way I can write it. So my circumference equals 2 times pi times, what's my radius? 3. Okay, so I can write that as 6 pi, or 6 times pi. Okay, so my circumference when I get pi up on my calculator is 18, so 6 times pi. How I've done that, guys, that's just 2 times 3. Um, 6 times pi, sorry, I keep on drawing my pi's a little bit weird. 6 times pi, uh, 6 times pi when I get it up on my calculator is 18.8495, okay, to two decimal places. That's 18.84, okay, that will be... 18.85 centimetres, okay, because I've rounded it to two decimal places. If you want to pop it in on your calculator, you'll also get 18.849 because that 9 was above 5. I've rounded that 4 up to 18.85 centimetres. That's it, guys. This should be revision from year 7 and year 8. Okay, so it says find the perimeter of this sector correct to two decimal places. Okay. Why the hell is this question more difficult? Well, first off, shit, we don't have a whole circle. We have a part of a circle. So this is a sector. This is what my sectors are actually looking at. So I know that I calculate the whole circumference of a circle with that formula, circumference equals 2 pi r. Okay, That's not going to work this time, is it? I know it's not going to work this time because I don't have a whole circle. I have part of a circle. Okay, now, how much of a circle do I have? Hmm. Okay, I suppose I have, what does it tell me? It tells me I've got 100 degrees here. Okay, if it's 100 degrees in there, how much would it be the whole way around? Hmm, the whole way around, okay. That will be, ooh, 100 degrees of 360, because that's what I've got. Okay. 100 degrees of 360 times 2 pi times, what's my radius? 7. Okay, and when I do that, when I do 
a hundred on three sixty. I get an answer of I'm just gonna move up this working over here. Whoops, sorry guys. Just gonna squash it down a little bit. Okay, I get an answer of twelve point two one seven. Okay. Why have I done 100 over 360 times 2 times pi times 7? Well, the thing is, I don't have a full circle. I have part of a circle, okay? I only have 100 of the 360 degrees, okay? So, what I've said there is, yeah, if I do 2 times pi times 7, I'm going to get the whole thing, but I only want part of it. That's why I've done this beforehand. So, now what I've technically got here is not my perimeter, but I've got from here... To here. That's what I've calculated from there to there. What am I still missing? I'm missing this guy in here and this guy in here. Okay, so if that there is 12.217, I need the whole perimeter of the shape. I'm going to have to add another 7 for the radii and 7 for the other radii. And when I do that, guys, I'm going to come up with an answer of 26 point two one seven. now if I want to round that 26.217 to what does it say two decimal places okay that means that's going to come up to this one here I go find my decimal spot I go one two okay that's my spot the number next to it's a seven which means this one must go up to a two so it becomes 26.217 two two centimeters okay and that's it guys that's how I work out the perimeter of a sector